So we were uh, putting in a fence at my uh, house and we had to remove a bunch of this like, uh, I don't know what you call it, scrub oak kind of crap. And I, <laughs> I broke this, this thing's all jackered up. And I broke my little electric Ryobi chainsaw and I broke my other chainsaw all trying to cut out all this freaking scrub oak crap. This is my beautiful pawn shop Hilti WSR 1250PE. But uh, it's seen better days, but it works really good when it when it's not, you know, broken. <laughs> so I was thinking I would uh, take it apart. I'm guessing there's probably like a shear pin or something. But it might be cool to take it apart, see what we got going on in here. I don't even know if I can get this freaking blade out. Come on. Come on. Yeah, she's, she's stuck pretty good. Probably gonna have to get some pliers. And then, you know, it's just a bunch of, well, those are torques. Those are torques. And we'll take it apart, see what's going on. The, the steel, I think, um, I think it's just something with the car because I don't use it a whole lot. And that's a really old saw. My grandpa gave that one to me. Um, so I think it's just the carb is messed up. It'll, it'll start and idle, but it just won't rev up. Very, uh, very indicative of a carburetor problem. But for now, let's, uh, let's stick with this, this thing. Well, we went camping last week to Lake Powell, and my dad stole my other Knipex, so I've got the little mini Knipexes. Yes, I do know, I think, how to pronounce it, Nipex, but Knipex is funner to say. Looks like we're getting it. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Got it. That's, that's going to need a little bit of lubrication, methinks. Yeah, this thing is just a spinning around and around. So, what we got to do? This is all like rubber, rubber over mold stuff. Uh, not sure. I'm guessing this probably has to come off. No, it looks like, looks like this is just barely tucked under. Phew. Maybe try pulling out these screws right here. If I only had my drill. Actually, do I have a drill? I might have a drill out here. All right, so I do not have a drill out here. It's in the house. And I ain't walking all the way back. Actually, I think my drill is in the chicken coop. Finally finished that, and the impact is in the house. Both of which are too far away to walk to. And I got these little nifty things, uh, I think Father's Day a couple years ago. They've just been stuck on the side of my toolbox ever since. So, it looks like it should, it's kind of just barely under this rubber guardy thingy. And it does not want to come out. Got it. Ew. That sucker is dirty. Here's our little spinny knob to go between. So this thing can reciprocate straight in and out. 
or it can reciprocate kind of in a circular. I think, pretty sure, it's not very noticeable if that is what it does. Um, I do, I do think that this has to come off in order to get this out. I'm gonna pull this thingy off and that I think it will let me slide it out so I can take this out. So it looks like it's just like a circ clip right there. Pop that off and then there's some springs that are probably gonna go flying. But that needs to all be cleaned out anyways, it's really stiff. All right, so it's the kind of clip that doesn't have any flipping holes in it. to try to get her with the screwy driver. It's gonna be kind of hard. Come on, come on. Got her. Circle it in the little magnet bin. There's that thing. And here's our springy thing. Oh, here's this thing. And it goes like this. Springy thing and a washery thing with some notches in it. Looks like it's got some notches. Uh, now I think this will probably fit right. Oh, son of a. like maybe it's a little bent flared out right there that doesn't want to fit oops got it so yeah this is where I think it might have been welded. Like, uh, not like welded welded, but spot welded. Just cause it's a uh, copper color for some reason. And that's the only way I could see this as being actually attached to that. So, you would need to be able to in order to weld it back on, all this would have to come out, It'd have to be welded back on, and then after all that, it would have to be able to slide in. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how. All these are rivets. Yeah. Earwig. All these are riveted on, so I don't really see. There's got to be a way to remove this thing. Let's um, see. Let's see if we can get this bottom cover off, maybe. Oh, what? Use the same freaking screws for all the pieces. Uh-oh. 
Bonus part. It doesn't look like it goes up in there at all. So we gotta figure out what is holding it. That is some very stiff plastic though. Nag zoo. There's your little screw. Okay, so. Looks like all this crap will, uh, that thing, screw, <laughs> yeah, that screw is holding like a spring that goes up and looks like it goes in, so I bet undoing that spring will loosen something up, but I'm guessing... Oh, and there's a circlip right there. Come on. There's that little spring. Yeah, I have no idea. It doesn't go anywhere. It looks maybe broken. Kinda looks like it's broken off at the end. And then there's this little circlip. Oh, something else is holding that thing down. These guys out. Still pretty well stuck in there. Whatever it is that's holding that. But we can get all this out. Got some little ball bearings up there. Easy. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Different size. Who would have thought? Some freaking Loctite on these guys. this thing but da -da. oh that was holding this down though let's maybe take take off this circle clip yeah just to get some room to slide up little shim there's one more screw right here that one looks like an allen we got big torques little torques and now it looks like we got some allens too There's a thrust bearing, which means that this should be another race. Yeah. Stick 
da da Found another screw. Right there. That might be what was holding it. Maybe. Screws. That might be a screw. No, no. Give her another tappy tap tap. Oh, oh. Got it. We got it. All right, let's take a gander at this. It's got some little high spots for it to slide on. And the gear. It's just a big old honking eccentric cam. Oh man. Oh, freaking greasy, man. We still need to find a way to get that front thingy off. The, the front plate. Um, I'm gonna start with pulling just the outside ones off and see if it'll come out. Let me look up a parts diagram. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna look up a parts diagram for this thing. All right, so I found a parts diagram. Ugh. This and this are all one piece. So I'm pretty sure it is supposed to be either welded or brazed. And also, this kind of looks bent. I mean, it's definitely bent. I don't know if it's supposed to be bent. Probably not. So, yeah, we might. I don't know. It's. Yeah, it's not ever really a good idea to try to bend hardened steel. Because it will not bend. It usually breaks. Um, but this is all supposed to be one piece. Almost positive. Um, so, we got two options. I can shove it back on, try to drill the hole, put a pin, and pin it. Or, can just try tacking it. Probably just gonna try putting a couple, couple little tacks on it. Just gotta make sure, make sure we'll be able to get it all back together. The other thing I found out, this little spring is not broken. It has somewhere, there should be, there should be, so it, it looked like there was a lever you could push that would release this. Yep, just like that. Oh man. Freaking grease all over it. Get off of the screw driver. Bastard. All right. Well, it came out a little bit. I do want it to come out the rest of the bit though. So. Oh man, come on. Got it. There we go. Got her. It's a. Uh, so yeah, it's adjustable. 
<laughs> Never knew that. And then there's the clip that holds it. Nothing in there. So yeah, this locks are in place like so. But yeah. And then when you push that, she locks in place. So normally I would use kerosene for this, but I'm fresh out of kerosene, so some straight simple green is gonna have to do the job. I wiped out as much grease as I could with a paper towel. And now we're just gonna let all this soak. Soak for a little bit. Now, let me throw all these parts in that are clean enough to go in. I'll probably do this one last because it has some a little bit of dirt on it. I'm gonna wipe that down a little bit more. Let's throw these little bearings in. Little screws. And throw that in. Gonna wipe this thing down a little bit more. And then we're gonna get to scrubbing. Alright, so I ended up just wiping. Oh, son of a diddly. Ended up just wiping these and this and this. Just wipe them down. They're, uh, they are plenty clean with just a quick wipe. Uh, this and those little parts, they've all got like little nooks and crannies and everything else. So we're gonna give those a scrub. Just gonna keep it, try to keep everything wet while we scrub and yeah this stuff uh, simple green works okay I mean it is a degreaser but it ain't no kerosene and it ain't no gasoline I can hit it with the hose. Let me see if I have some dish soap out here. That might that might help. Just a tiny bit of dish soap left. And I don't know. I feel like a simple green's not doing it. I don't know if the dish soap's gonna help any. But it might help kind of suds it up and like uh, get it get it up in the solution. All right, I'm gonna keep scrubbing this. Probably go spray it off in the hose outside, and I'll bring it back once everything's as clean as I'm gonna get it. All right, so. Sprayed everything off, did a little bit of dish soap, and sprayed it some more. And it's looking pretty dang good. Um, I still don't know how the heck this thing comes out. Um, other than I'm almost positive it does come out. But I don't see... Yeah... I, oh, that that pin's definitely gonna have to come out. And I already tried banging on it, and it didn't budge. So I believe it is a press fit. Yeah, that ain't budging. Now it is. I wasn't hitting it too hard. Um, I'll have to tap it out the rest of the way with a punch over on the vise. Uh, sucker's long. Um, 
How could we get it in? Yeah, we still won't even be able to get it in without taking that bronze ring out. It's weird, look how much it moves. Yeah, there's an O-ring in there. Definitely see a big O-ring. Sucker is in there. There we go. There she is. Big ol' honkin' O-ring that holds it. Big ol' honkin'. <laughs> Wipe down. All right, so if I had all this stuff and it was all welded together, would I be able to get it through the bushing up there and down? I believe I would. So, I think our best bet is gonna be to press this thing back in. And, cause it has, it has enough wiggle, I think, that I could, I could flex it up enough to slide the shaft in. Um, this is gonna be difficult to shove that thing back in though. I may try it with a big C-clamp. Yeah, it's gonna be, gonna be rough. And by big C-clamp, I mean the uh, 408 by Wilton. I don't know. That might be our best bet right there. See if we can shove it in. A little bit of grease right there. A little bit more grease. Towel action. Alright, so it looks like it's supposed to be pressed in this way based on the big giant chamfer. significantly easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> that never happens. Ever. <laughs> now let's make sure we got enough flex. Oh yeah, plenty, plenty of flex. All right. I'm gonna look back through my recording and try to figure out which way this was bent. So, I couldn't find a picture of it, but the bend is supposed to be there. Um, you can see it on the parts diagram, they drew a line. Um, and the bend does go upwards. So, now that we know everything we need to know, um, this also has to go a specific way. Um, this whole 
faces that way. I believe I got to double check because I forgot. Yep, hole goes that way. Bend up, pull, just like that. So what we're gonna do is shove this back down. I could try soldering it, but I don't want to mess with the temper of the steel. And I think I can keep it cooler by just tack welding it. So, um, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to tack. I'm going to try to tack right up inside on all four corners. Um, that way, that way I don't have any weld sticking out anywhere. So I'm going to try to whack this thing back down in there. Just like that. Hopefully it's straight. Shoot. There's a tiny crack right there. Focus, you piece of crap. There we go. There's a crack right, right there on both sides. <sighs> Let me throw her back together and we'll see how much room we have around all this piece. So, it looks like we do have room to weld. I don't know why the wear mark looks like it goes all the way up to there, but it actually, I think it's, it stops right there. Well, there's nothing else. There's nothing else that goes. This, this round part here does go all the way to that edge. I mean, it's almost all the way to that edge. Hmm. Um, I mean, I could weld it and then grind a bunch of it off. I guess I don't really have anything to lose. So I'll just try welding right there and there and then these top corners. And then I'll just try to grind this down as much as I can. And I'm just gonna do little tacks. Um, All right, so I'm no welder, but uh, here it goes. I'm gonna start in these back corners. Um, Hopefully I have my settings dialed in. I'm probably a little low on the voltage, but here we go. Why is my wire feeding? There we go. All right, so I'm gonna throw it in the vise and just file these down as much as I can um, without, without taking all of it off, you know, but I'd like to clean it up a little and uh, hope for the best. All right, so it's still pretty dang hard. Uh, the file digs in right where the welds were, but not really anywhere else. So I smoothed it out as best I could without taking all the welds off because I know I don't have very good penetration because I, I wasn't, I wasn't, I was trying to not get it too hot. Um, but I think, yeah, I mean, that's about the best I can do without, 
you know, welding it up solid and then reheat treating it, which I don't want to try to do that. That's, I'm not good at heat treating either. Um, probably could. Yeah, this is what we're going to have to go with. I don't, the parts diagram says Opti LT2, um, which is maybe Optolube or Optiplex LT2. Um, I, I just, I'm not going to order that crap. Let's slap this bad mamma jamma back together. I'm just going to kind of get grease everywhere. Looking good in the navy. Oh no! Now what you don't want to do is drop your freshly greased freaking parts in the dirty ground. Because then you gotta wipe it all off. Everything is so slippery though. Let's see. Goes like that. So, I don't want to tighten these screws down yet. We're just going to kind of get them in so nothing falls apart. So this washer goes right there like that. Once that's pressed back in, um, moment of truth. Yes, we can. But obviously I put it in upside down. <laughs> see where it was rubbing on this so I wonder if I could just rotate it to a fresh kind of side let's see why not
looks like we're there. So now the washer goes. Probably should have just thrown the washer on before I pounded it in. But I think we can maybe lift this up high enough. Easy enough. Looking good in the neighborhood. So we can probably tighten down those three screws. If we have the right Torx on ratchet. Ratchet don't fit in those ones. Feels pretty smooth. This must be part of how it does the reciprocating up and down movement. Um, we can probably put this all back together. I did say to put some grease on it in the parts diagram. drops in and then believe the spring where's that this little circle clip on. Is that it? Oh shoot. Damn it. I can't get the screws back into the motor with all this on. Oh no. I think this has to come back out. All right, I think I got them all. Got the three screws in the bottom too. Um, see you. Let's see if we get that back in there. And see if we can get this back in there. Okay. 
beautiful. It just wouldn't be as fun if you didn't have to take things apart four or five different times. Gotta figure out how to get this thing back in. it out uh, or something gonna have to look it up don't have a piece of foam so that's yeah I don't, it's not doing a whole lot <laughs> just keeping this thing from I don't know what it's doing doesn't make any sense. For me, I do need to put more grease in though. parts diagram washer goes on like that the little tab facing forward the spring does go in that hole and then you got to kind of shove it down just a little bit so that it's inside of these three little tabs see those three tabs so you have to kind of twist it and push it and then it falls into those tabs. I just don't like how once it's in the tabs, the spring kind of looks messed up. See how it's kind of not straight? And then the other thing is so that would mean Spring has to go on. And then this has to go on. And then you gotta get the spring in the hole. I think I got it. Nope. And okay. Oh yeah, there we go. That'll do her. Work this clip on back around with 
without stabbing your freaking hand. Like zoo, oh, like butter, smooth like butter. Okay, get all the grease lay off. Make sure you kick over your simple green bottle. Okay, so this goes right back over all everything. Just gonna give her a Shove that guy back on. And you can take this thing. I said to grease this. So we're just gonna put a little bit, just a little bit. Done. Time. What do we got? That was way too long. <laughs> All right. I'm going to throw a blade in it and we're going to do a test cut. All right. You guys are probably going to get shook to death, but found an old dull metal cutting blade. Um, I have no idea. I have, I have some new ones, but I don't know where they are. Phew. Looks like it's still got some teeth left. All the way up here though. Um, but yeah, here's the straight in and out and here's the up and down while it goes in and out. So I, I have no idea. I've never been able to tell the difference. But we're gonna take and cut a little sliver off, right, Shinger? That's like a butter cut. You guys can't really see the cut, but I guess you watched it go down. And now let's try the other way with the uh, up and down and in and out motion. See what that does. Yeah, I can't, I don't, I don't see or feel a difference, but maybe when I go back and watch the video, maybe I'll be able to see something different. I don't know. It looks the same to me. Oh, you see the blade go down when I twisted it? Now it goes up. This thing doesn't have like a slow, it's like freaking on or off. So you go down, up. Down, up. Down, up. So yeah, I have, I have no idea, but the good news is the freaking thing works again. So, yep. I'm gonna go do some 4th of July stuff now. Cause, yep, it's 4th of July now. So, yep, thanks for watching. Oh, also, um, I don't know if this video will be before the air compressor video, but we did finish the air compressor and she works like a champ. Uh, fills up pretty dang fast and no leaks and should work really well for my plasma cutter, which is gonna go on my plasma table. Um, so yeah, I do have the rest of the video, I just need a finish editing all of it. it takes forever man i never i never would have thought it took that long but it, it does take a lot of work to edit these videos so if you are watching um yeah if you just hit the like button that'd be really cool just to see you know who watched the video 
Um, if not, whatever. I don't care. I'm not doing this for money. I'm just doing it for fun because I like doing this kind of stuff. So, yep. See you, see you on the next one.